Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. And this is Zeta. And welcome back to Let's Play Tales of the Abyss. Let's use our wing bottle. It's a good thing we didn't actually use that at uh, Tataru Valley. We're gonna want to see. Uh, now all we have to do is take everybody in the Albior. Oh yeah, because we can we can fly now again. Before we do that, I have a proposal. What is it? Kim Laska, Malkuth, and Doc can agree to the land lowering operation. Okay. But Casadonia is an autonomous state, not a country. What do you want to bring Aster to? They're being left out. I know they wouldn't normally have this right, but could we let Aster participate? They're already in the cliff off. Yeah, it was quick and informal, but he was the first to approve of the plan. I don't see any problem with that. Then let's go to Casadonia first. No. We'll have Noel take the other heads of state onto Yulia City in the meantime. Wait, that makes no yeah, sense. That way we won't waste any time. Yes, yeah, so it will. If he does that, how are we gonna get down there? Somehow, we're gonna still have the Alvior. Oh my god. I don't know. We're gonna go see Tritai. Why? Because my notes tell me to. I don't know why, but they tell me to. Probably an optional cutscene. Apparently so. Oh, it's good to see all of you. What is it, Maestro Tritine? Oh, this scene. I feel some unusual phonons. That's not the sword I had you equipped with, you Luke. About? The that hell is that? That's the sword we got from the Blade Rex. This sword? At the Mejiora Highlands. I felt the first phonon in it from the moment we got it, but it's been growing stronger day by day. This the where did you find this sword? The Mediora Highlands. It was stuck in a monster's back. Yeah, just a really bad sword with one attack power. Nothing useful about it. Well, I suppose at this point I can talk about it. That sword is said to be one of the catalysts of the planetary phonic art. What? The what? Planetary phonic art? An immense phonic art that was proposed in the Dawn Age. It was never actually put to use, though. The phonic war ended before it could be. Or so I've heard. Yes, records of the art were found in Yulia City. The previous phone master, Evanos, secretly undertook a plan to revive it. So, wait, it's like a super strong spell or something? Yes, three weapons with the power of Rem, and three with the power of Shadow. It's a nice uh, reference to Rem and Shadow. So there's, there's six of them. We're six party members! What a coincidence. It's the, uh, the demon arms, devil arms, whatever you want to call them, from all Tales games. They're completely worthless in this game. So they're not as good as the other ones are? They're not as good as they are in Zillia. Well, in Zillia, they kick ass. Well, and, yeah, because you could actually use them, because the, the one boss you got them from, you could refight a stronger version of it afterwards. Plus, you still have the Coliseum. You actually have things to use it with. Here... Perhaps it would be useful to... Nothing to do with him. The former Oracle Knight has reportedly passed away. I mean, right now they're really weak. Able to learn something. What was that Oracle Knight's name? Locrian Colonel Gelda Nebulim. What? Oh my God. Nebulim. I could swear I've heard that somewhere. We don't need any planetary phonic art. I I even without it, Jade's still ridiculously. Strong. Actually, he's the weakest party member in the game. Luke, what are you hiding? Uh oh. Well, if you deem it necessary, I have no objection to visiting Ketterberg. The two of you are certainly acting. Yeah, Nebelin was uh, Jade's professor. Yeah, this this side quest revolves around Jade. Off to Ketterberg. By the way, Dist won't be there, even though. He was supposed to be there. This is this isn't going to be nearly as annoying though. 
We can fly. Unfortunately, we can't teleport or have fast travel or something that would make this remotely... I don't know. Tolerable? I wouldn't mind it so much, but they really make you back travel in this game. Wait, how'd the LBR get there? I don't know. Okay, so basically as a result of losing the flight stone and getting it back, we can now do this with the Albior. Hold up, you can go as a boat or a land ship. Hold down, you go in the air. Is that really necessary or useful? Not really. Yes it is. If you ever have to go back to Sheridan. I suppose. But I don't know why it couldn't just do that to begin with. There's no real explanation as to why you can't do that before you lose the flight stone. It just, just kind of is. Well, before they never needed any... seen any need to go in the water. Because we could fly. But now that we lost it, we needed to go in the water. Well, whatever. We're going to uh, see Nefri. Jade's sister. It is his sister, right? Yeah. Alright. Yes, it is. She's also the governator! See if we can get more of these weapons, apparently. Knight that used to live in Ketterberg? I can look in the records. What was this person's name? Um. <laughs> Gelda Nebulum. Oh no. Professor Nebulum? My, did you know her? Of course. Professor Nebulum opened a private school here after leaving the order. I studied under her, as did my brother. Uh oh. Colonel, you did know her, didn't you? And you knew too, Luke. That's why you were acting so strong. Oh yeah, but Jade didn't want you to know. I, I don't know her. Don't blame Luke. I told him to keep it a secret. Emperor Peony aside, sharing a classroom with Dist is one of my life's less laudable moments. <laughs> that must have been an awkward experience. Dist aside, Emperor Peony studied under her as well. Ah, so it was the four of them. The Emperor was confined to his mansion, but he would sneak out and just sit in on the class. Oh, okay, that's a little weird. Some Emperor he is. So, did this Professor Nebulum leave anything behind? Probably not. I've heard that the Malkuth Army's intelligence division collected or... documents some time ago. Maybe so. The Malkuth Army? Why? That's a little weird. What's the problem? Jade just has to run in there and ask. Oh, God. I doubt it'll be that easy. Intelligence divisions are usually independent from the rest of the army. Guess where we're going to next? Well, I suppose we'll just yep. have to ask the Emperor for assistance. <sighs> if I could just teleport to the freaking town, this would not be a problem. Instead, we have to leave town, get on the Albior, and fly to Grand Kokma. I wouldn't... It, well, no, it would bother me no matter what, but... I think it bothers me even more so because the game actually does give you fast travel. But by the time it gives it to you, the game's pretty much over, so... Yeah, I don't understand the point. Oh well. Oh, stay away from the thunderstorm. We'll be able to go there eventually. There's nothing really on that island. Just a search point. It's uh, I've... no, there's nothing important there. There's some weird enemies there, but it's about it. Level seventy-two enemies. Well, they're in-game enemies, yeah. One hit is instant death. No, they're not that hard.
to the castle. And then we still have another pit stop to make before going to Casadonia. Seriously? Yep. We have a Albert book to buy. Oh, God. What about Guy? Did he learn all his moves yet? Except for Final Cross. But he learned all of those moves he can learn from that side quest. Yeah, I think that's he's what in, I meant. Yeah, he's in his room. I think he's in his room. Yep, he's in there. There he is. Him and his rat pigs. Didn't we have to find them in the castle before? Yep. Well, this is a surprise. Did you come to visit my rat pigs? Adorable. Of course we did. We'll save your majesty's wrappings for another time. Guy, if you would explain. Oh, not again. Me? Why do I always have to explain things? Because you're the best explainer. Professor Nebulim, huh? My dad was still on the throne then, so I don't know much about it. Well, you were the one sneaking out all the time. Anyway, I'll get the intelligence division to submit the information. I'll have it sent to your office, Jade. Where the hell's Guess where we're going next? Do you hear something? Yeah. Oink, oink. Yes. This sounds like phonon interference. Not even gonna ask what that is. Now that you mention it. It's the first and sixth phonons. That's odd. It's coming from somewhere in this room. It's the pigs. I knew it all along. They were evil. It's a phonon bomb. Oh, we're screwed. Hey, that's not <laughs> We're all gonna blow up. Come on, let's look for it. This is it. The sound is coming from this sword. Oh look, we already found another one. Damn, that's a beast looking it sword. Like it's that's a uh, guy's sword, really? I think. Sweet. Oops. And it changes colors. What is this sword, your majesty? Something like that. Sovereign left it behind when he retired from the army. I collect weapons, so he left it here for me. Jade, do you think this is one of the planetary phonic art catalysts? How convenient. I presume so, but to call this mess a collection. Yeah, it's not very well organized. Say something. No, not at all. Not at all. Incidentally, would it be possible to borrow this sword? It's also worthless. I suppose that if those three cute girls begged a little. Get to it, girls! We all look at him. That's a fine case of sexual harassment. He's the king. I don't think he cares. Actually, he's the emperor. Kneel before Zod. Go ahead, Luke. Wait, what? Me. Please lend us the sword. <laughs> Next. With all due respect, we would like to oh, the sword. Oh god. His ego is hilarious. Next. Emperor Peony, you're so handsome. Can we please borrow the sword? She is Pretty so please. good at that. It's sugar on top. <laughs> great, great. Just wait until you're six years older, and I'll date you anytime. What the hell? Yeah. Whoa, he sure changed fast. Please lend. Me <laughs> <laughs> oh God, look at her face. Oh, that icy smile. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh God. Me too? Yeah. Um, your majesty, would you please allow us to borrow the sword? Jade's turn! Oh, that hint of naivete. Oh my god. Your majesty. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, your majesty. Please allow me to offer my most sincere request. Nope. Leave. Wow. Oh, God. We'll be taking the sword then. What the Oh heck? my god. <laughs> nope, stop. I'll puke. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's the lost Celeste. Actually, I have zero attack power. There is a way to power them up, but 
it's... I think the formula, it's one physical attack power per kill, and one phonic attack power per kill for the mages, in addition to physical attack. Um, so Luke, Luke and Guy, I believe, only get physical attack, whereas everyone else gets physical attack and phonic attack power. I think Natalia might only get physical attack, but I don't remember. But um, the problem is, once you actually do unlock them, you can't get them any stronger, so... And they're never going to have more than the strongest weapons in the game, unless you really go out of your way. Because in this game, well, first of all, you can't link, so you can't get two people getting one kill. And secondly, it just takes way too long to do that. I mean, even if you grind, you're not going to have more than five, six hundred kills for each character. So it's just not worth your time. And again, by the time you do unlock them, you've beaten everything in the game. I mean, yeah, New Game Plus, but eh, who cares about that? Lots of people. They do go up to 9,999 attack power, but then you would one-shot everything. But yeah, we're in Jade's office. Colonel? Some documents have been delivered from the Intelligence Division. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. That is not a female! Now, let's see. Yeah, it is. Are you sure? Yeah, just because you don't see the hair on the what face. There's information on the Professor's life, the incantation for the planetary phonic art, and, uh, a map. Ah! A map? Yes. This looks like Mount Ronin. Oh, what the hell did he get there? I have no idea. But unfortunately, we cannot get past the mountain because there is a blizzard there. Now that you mention it, Professor Nebulum did go to Mount Ronil a lot, didn't she? Whoa, what's the <laughs> We just noticed it. Her Majesty pays unannounced visits to the Colonel's office frequently. That's a little weird. Well, that explains that. <laughs> oh. Well then, shall we head for Mount Ronil? Not yet. It would probably be best to wait until we have all of the catalysts. You couldn't get there anyway. By the way, Your Majesty, it seems that there are quite a few sections missing from these documents. Apparently somebody took them without anyone's knowledge. Dist. Dist? Yeah. Probably. Does it say anything about where the rest of the catalysts are? Somewhere in the game world. Fortunately, no. Only that they came in pairs. And that the McGovern family had one. I guess we'll just have to find them the hard way. Yeah, we'll get them eventually. Oh, oh, I. Yeah, okay. Now we want to go to Yulia City. Oh my god. Just going to the story. Gotta do some ass kicking. Not gonna happen. The next place isn't even a dungeon, it's just a boss fight. So that's still ass kicking. No, because I'm gonna put the controller down and purposely lose. I'll shut the game off. You can't. Why couldn't I? I programmed my PS2 to self destruct if it's not my fingerprints being recognized by it. We would have blown it up a long time ago. Stop, uh, getting sick. Alright, now you're just being a dick. That one was on purpose. I was trying to be quiet with it. Just blow it all out. No. Everything in your nose. Take it all out. Then my brains would come out. It's not good. <laughs> you know they have a saying, don't blow your brains out. It's I, possible. I give up with you. We're just gonna depart. Exactly. Depart for Chesedonia. No, Yulia City. Chesedonia. Yulia City. We're not even going to Chesedonia today. No, 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 stay away from the thunderstorm. You hit the thunderstorm. I am nowhere near the thunderstorm. I hate this game sometimes. I really do. Those weather effects are irritating. I can understand putting barriers on the world map but just have me bounce off it. Don't have me freaking load the weather effect, then load a dialogue box, 
bo box and Never then pulled. load me going backwards and you shut up. I didn't say enough. You went. Bruh, 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 bruh. I did not. I heard you. you know, by the way, it was Bobo. <laughs> oh Similar to I, Bobo. I'm going to kill you before this is over. Bobo. Go in the corner. What am I, two years old? <laughs> yes. Now we can buy it from this guy. Even though we had the money before, we couldn't buy it? Yes. It doesn't let you buy it unless you get the money from. So that's his last one, right? No. Oh my god. It takes Luke a lot longer to get his than it did Guy. Guy. Anyway, Lightning Blade there is actually uh, pretty damn powerful. It's uh, Wind Elemental. And uh, it does have some startup time to it and some lag at the end for recovery time, but it deals a lot of damage, so it's uh, pretty good. Stuns uh, easily. Not a bad arse uh, move for his arsenal. Plus, you know, if you happen to run into an enemy weak to Earth, not Earth, weak to Wind, you can, uh, you can use it. No feel the phonons, of course. None of those moves have them. On to Chesedonia. No, now we're going to Doth. Oh my god, why are we going to Doth? To see Ion. Isn't Ion with us? Yes. That was the point. Son of a bitch. Chesedonia's in the cliff off. Oh my god. You didn't even remember that either. I knew it was there. I was gonna fly to the- I seriously thought you were going back to Doth. No. I'm going to Chesedonia. Oh god! Yes, why does it let you swim? Let's go. Okay. We're not actually doing anything in, in Chesedonia right now. We're gonna save. And then come back later. Do it on the next episode. This is Ryzen. This is Zato. Signing off.